a respite for Iran's national currency, Rial. This week, the Rial surged to as high as 100,000 to the dollar in unofficial trading, following weeks of depreciation. A trend that saw the currency plunge to a record low of 190,000 to the dollar last week. The sharp recovery prompted many people to rush to convert their foreign currencies, including their dollars, into rials. People hope the national currency's rebound will ultimately boost their purchasing power. If this trend continues, there is hope that the prices of goods could go down. Even if forex rates stay at this current figure, it's okay. However, some people say they could not buy foreign currencies at the new rates. Exchange offices say they only buy currencies, they don't sell to us. Less than a year ago, the real traded at around 40,000 to one dollar. In the past six months, the dollar rate more than quadrupled against the real. Experts say the Iranian national currency is yet to return to its previous status. I believe the only way to keep the wheels of the economy spinning is to bring the dollar rate down to less than 60,000 reals. Analysts offer various explanations for the recent rally in the value of the real, including a new policy allowing the central bank to intervene more strongly to support the real. To avoid further troubles in the economy, the government had to improve the real. The central bank predicted that the dollar rate would come down to around 42,000. I hope that the government would continue this trend to further strengthen the real. The government offered several initiatives to strengthen the national currency, including introducing a secondary currency market. Authorities also took steps to dump the dollar in bilateral trade with other countries. Whatever the force behind the Riyadh's unexpected recovery, hope has returned to the public here that this could boost the economy and push the prices down. Still, many are not sure whether the Riyadh's rally is a fluctuation or a long-term trend. Yusuf Jalali, Pros TV, Tehran.